Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Aries for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Aries, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we've got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So there's either a missed opportunity or a fear of a missed opportunity here. Your person is coming in as the Page of Swords, so they are going to communicate Maybe they're worried they've let things go too long or they've let you get away. Ooh, they're viewing you as the Seven of Cups in reverse, so they're seeing very clearly that your soulmates, this is somebody that wants reunion or could be really crushing on you, okay? It could be like somebody you work with. Um, it could be somebody you go to school with, you see within the community. With the Three of Pentacles showing up in reverse, there could be some sort of third-party interference here. And we see the Two of Wands in reverse. So you've got a big decision to make here, Aries. And with the Four of Cups, it looks like you've got a love offer or an apology or some something coming in, some sort of communication coming in that's going to take you by surprise. Now, some of you, there's a fear of rejection here from, you know, your person might be worried that you're going to reject them. Maybe some of my Aries, you are going to reject this person because the Two of Wands in reverse is also about reflecting on what's happened in the past between the two of you. All right, <clears throat> but for some of you, it could be like a secret admirer here or somebody that you've recently been talking to or flirting with. So the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, why do we have this here? All right, we have Temperance Energy, Sagittarius. So this is telling me that there's a lot of, there's potential for balance and healing here. But it could be somebody that you've been dating, you know, Sagittarius Energy. Maybe it started back in like June is what I'm getting. Um... But I'm seeing here that like that, that you have somebody that is, you know, they could view you as an earth angel or maybe you see them that way. I do see that you two are a good match. Um, you enjoy spending time together. You have the same likes and dislikes and food and drink and, you know, uh, extracurricular activities, if you will. Now, remember, the temperance card is always a reminder that divine assistance is at work here in your love life. And the Five of Cups in reverse. So you've got an unexpected love offer coming in. Somebody that does want to heal things with you. Somebody who may be holding back and they've been kind of watching and waiting and strategizing. Either how to win you over, how to ask you out, or how to reconcile. All right. So with the Page of Swords, you've got somebody here that's been spying, doing their homework. And they're ready to transform this situation. So maybe they want, you know, they want to be more than just friends or co-workers. Um, for others of you, you've had a very difficult ending here, but this person is going to come in and tell you how they're feeling, what they want. Yep, chariot card, Cancerian energy. This person's coming right for you, Aries. They don't want to miss this opportunity with you. They're seeing very clearly that your soulmates, they're crushing on you hard. A lot of you, they do want reconciliation or they just want to ask you out. All right, so trust your judgment because for some of you, this is a past person. For others of you, it's somebody you might work with or somebody you might see in the community or at school or at the gym. And I think you already know that they have these feelings for you. Double seven of cups in reverse. So pay attention to the number sequence, seven, seven Aries. You might be seeing that a lot with like on license plates online, you know, um, you know, in, in different places, but it's also a reminder 77 is a beautiful, beautiful mystical angel number that indicates that your angels and guides are certainly around you, assisting you here. Um, I feel like we've got two soulmates, and if, if you don't have a history with this person, there's definitely this past life vibe, so they're going to feel really familiar whether you're familiar with them or not. This, wow, you're showing up as your energy, the full number zero. So it's telling me here that spirit wants you to take a risk. This person wants you to take a risk, take a leap of faith towards them. This feels like it's something that is really, truly in alignment with you, Aries. But there's something here that we're not seeing, and it's the three of pentacles in reverse. So this person may have options or choices in love. It does feel like they're choosing you. 
but the seven of wands, this person wants to fight for this connection. But I do think that they're a little bit nervous about how to go about that or how to approach you. But the knave of pentacles, you've got somebody who may move a little bit slowly here, Aries, but they're definitely coming in. They want to get on the same page. And this is somebody that's willing to do the work. All right. Now, I do also feel that this person is... Um, you know, they may be holding back. Maybe they do have a choice or did have a choice in love, but I'm definitely getting with the two of wands here. This person is choosing you. Now it's up to you, Aries, whether or not you want to, you know, give this person a chance. Empress energy. So we have Aries and Libra energy, your opposite sign. There might be something in the Libra reading for you. This person is viewing you as the divine feminine or vice versa. If you identify as the divine feminine and remember my readings are not gender specific. So we're just talking about energy here. Some of you may be single parents that doesn't bother this person or it doesn't, you know, it doesn't phase them at all. Um, for others of you, this person, they, they want stability. They want commitment. They want long-term like I said, really strong soul contract energy showing up here and the three of wands in reverse. So this connection may have been blocked and maybe it was blocked in the past by some sort of third party or they weren't sure if you were single. Um, I also feel with the three of wands energy as well, like big decisions coming up. Maybe my Aries, you have choices in love. So if that's the case, you definitely do want to choose the person that you feel the most comfortable with. And we have the emperor in reverse, Aries energy. So we have the emperor and the empress showing up in this reading. But I do see here with the emperor in reverse, it's like a little bit of my way or the highway energy. So some of you, you might, you know, you're being told here to hold yourself in high regard, empress energy, not rush into things. Remember, the empress is never going to chase. It does look like this person wants things to go their way. Um, I'm not sure if they were my way or the highway with you in the past, or you felt like they were kind of stubborn or controlling. Definitely take that into consideration, okay, before you, you know, take a leap of faith here with this person. Um, but for others of you, I feel like, you know, there's a big decision here. There might be some past baggage about a previous relationship, all right? Some of you, may, if you've been dealing with somebody that was kind of controlling or wasn't really offering you any sort of stability and commitment, you know, I feel like spirit saying that you might want to give this new person a shot if that's the case. All right, but let's see. Clear messages and guidance. What else do we need to know about this person, please, for my Aries? Okay, so we get manipulator, we get opposites, and we get overspends and cultural differences. Okay, so this person may be from a different race, religion, tradition, or background, or just have a very different love language from you. So we're getting opposites and cultural differences but for a lot of my Aries what I'm getting here is that opposite energies this person is very different than anybody that you've been dealing with now with manipulator you do have to obviously be careful this person might you know write checks that their body can't cash I know that is such a cheesy saying but it's, <laughs> it fits so you just want to make sure that what they are offering you is is something that they can actually that you can actually cash in on if that makes sense or that they can back up their words or their actions with words. Um, this person may come in with some sort of big gift for you. Um, make sure that you, you know, that, you know, if this is somebody that you have been dealing with and this came out in another reading, just as a reminder, you know, the importance of finances within relationships. We don't talk about it that often, but you know, it can be a source of stress or it can be a source of compatibility, you know, whether or not you like to save or how you manage money and assets and things like that. So do take that into consideration as well. I know that sounds a little bit mundane or boring, but again, it is an important element of any sort of higher level of commitment. Um, with manipulator energy, though, I do feel like, you know, we all manipulate to a degree. And I do feel like this person wants you to see them in the best light. So again, I feel like they're going to go big or go home type energy here with you. Um, you know, so do expect some sort of grand gesture or some sort of gift. Um, but you are being, you are being told to like, look at, like, look at the past, learn from past mistakes, hold yourself in high regard. Don't rush into anything. You know, you've got a big decision to make here about this person, especially if you have a history with this person. Although some of my Aries, this is somebody new who's crushing on you and you've got a decision between this person and somebody from your past, which I kind of feel like spirit is saying to let go of, but we'll see. What other messages do my Aries need to hear, please? Okay, so endings bring new beginnings. So there's been some growth, some change, transition here. So again, for those of you where this resonates as a past person, um, they're coming back in for reconciliation. It does feel like there has been some growth and there has been some change. All right, so there could be, you know, renewal here. 
And for others of you, it's about letting someone or something go so that you can have a new beginning. All right. This person's coming in to chase you, Aries, and you're being told that you're going to get what you need. So there's something coming in for you. Okay. An apology, a message. It's coming in hot with that chariot energy. Um, you're being told to trust your intuition. Some of you, it's not going to be good enough. All right, and this is going to give you closure. And for others of you, you are going to move on with this person. But spirit saying, you know what? Be lighthearted when things come to light, when you find out how this person really truly feels. It may take you by surprise here. All right, and just look at the details though, because with that overspending energy, I do think overspending and manipulator, this person is definitely going to put their best foot forward. I mean, we all do that. So we can't knock someone for wanting to impress you, but just make sure that it, that's all it is. And it's not actually, you know, like, you know, catfishing or, <laughs> you know, catfishing you, or again, part of their personality where, you know, they're inauthentic, but I'm not getting that for most of my Aries. I'm getting, again, this person is going to kind of, you know, they're going to put on their best clothes. They're going to, you know, buy you a nice gift, take you to a nice restaurant. And again, they might be overspending a little bit to win you over. Spirit's telling you to keep an open mind when it comes to this person, Aries, that your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Again, cultural differences. It might be somebody, that you, you know, that you're, you know, that you're not used to. Um, and if you do know who this person is and they are coming back around, just hear them out is what I'm hearing. Keep an open mind. Also, don't shut down your other options until you're truly sure. Yeah, and we get free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So if this was a toxic connection with this emperor energy in reverse and this person wasn't emotionally available, you know, be, you know, be on your toes here. You know, it, did you free yourself? Have you been liberated from this connection? Because it may be that they don't want to let you go. All right, because I'm reading for a lot of you, so I am picking up on a lot of different storylines here. But Spirit's also telling you don't overthink things, Aries. You know, you know what's best for you, okay? And stay optimistic about your love life. So positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So stay high vibrational. Keep an open mind. Don't shut down your options until you really know how you feel about this person and if they can back up their actions with words. There is potential for healing and closure here. That's going to mean different things for different people. But as you release and heal the past, you'll experience more love in your present moments. And again, that might bring you and this person together again. But for others of you, you may be getting closure here and you may be opening yourself up to other options. So again, trusting your intuition is paramount, Aries, making the healthiest choices in life and in love. The one thing that is super clear in this reading is you do have a message coming in. You have somebody that wants to take action towards you. They want to transform this connection with you. And they want to get on the same page. They, it feels like they've been working hard to, you know, to do it the right way, strategizing. And for a lot of you, it is going to bring you some happiness here. Okay. So I'm going to leave it here, Aries. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using. Or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And just a word about private readings. There are two ways to do that. You can go through my uh, website, SirianaTarot.com or through my Etsy shop. All right. And those will be linked down below. Love and light, Aries. Take care.